you for purchasing your new HD TV set. This simple instructional video will guide you through the setup of your new TV. Digital television is the latest technology of high definition TV that will display the best available signal today. Before we begin, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, an HDMI cable or analog cable, depending on what type of source you're using. I also recommend you have a soft cloth or towel to place your TV on when mounting the stand. First, take your television out of the box and remove the plastic wrapping. Careful, you should have some help to avoid injury or damage to the unit as it can be pretty heavy. Place the TV face down on a soft cloth or towel so we can mount the stand later. You'll notice a few items in the box along with your TV. The remote control, batteries, owner's manual, quick start guide, power cable, the stand, and screws. If you don't see some of these items, don't worry. These accessories may vary depending on which model you purchase. Now we're going to set up the stand of your TV. Make sure the unit is on the edge of your table and carefully align the stand against the television in the correct direction. Insert the screws and tighten them one at a time. Be careful not to over tighten them as it can damage the stand. You can now stand your TV upright and we're ready to connect your devices. Open the battery compartment on your remote in the direction of the arrows. Place the batteries in the remote. Be careful and make sure you place them in the correct polarity and place the cover back on. Depending on how you get your television signal, there will be different types of connections. You will notice the connectors are located on the side and rear of your TV. You might be familiar with some of them, but let me show you what your options are. If you are using an off-air antenna, make sure that it is digital ready. Place the tip of the cable on the antenna input and attach it by rotating the connector clockwise until it's secured. If this is loose, the reception will not be strong and may display a faint and pixelated image. To view the channels on your television, you must scan for available channels in your area. Remember that the television will only display the channels that it finds, so if you move your TV, it's recommended that you rescan the channels each time. Using a good quality antenna will improve the reception and your channels and images will be great. If you're using a cable or satellite receiver, you have several options. Let's check them out. There are many options for getting a good signal. Let's review a good, better, and best scenario. The good connection is what is referred to as a composite, which are the yellow, white, and red cable. This is also referred to as an analog connection. Simply match the colors of the cables with the colors of the inputs in your TV. A better connection is called component. It uses five connectors, red, blue, and green for video, as well as white and red for audio. This is a better option because it can display high definition video. As with composite, match the colors of the connectors with the input colors on the TV. The best and simplest connection is called HDMI. It's the best because it transfers digital video and sound from the source to the television with a single cable. It uses high definition video and sound, and since we all know that digital is better than analog, it's recommended to use HDMI whenever possible. It will give you the best quality and performance on your new TV. When connecting the HDMI cable from any device like your cable or satellite box, plug one side of the HDMI cable in the back of your device and the other side into the HDMI input on your TV. Remember, your TV is equipped with multiple HDMI inputs, so it's best to use HDMI 1 for your television. The same principle applies when connecting any other device such as a DVD player, Blu-ray player, VCR, or camcorder. And remember, good, better, and best. When possible, use an HDMI connection. You can also connect your computer to the TV with a VGA cable like this one for video and a regular headphone style jack for the audio. You're now ready to power up your TV. Plug the power cable into the back of your unit and the other end into the wall. Once your TV is plugged into the wall, 
you will notice the power indicator on the front panel lights up. If you don't see a light, check the side and rear of the TV for the power switch. You must first switch it on and make sure the power cable is properly connected to the wall. You can use the power button on the remote control or the side of the TV to turn it on. If you're using a cable or satellite box, make sure it is turned on. Now, using your TV remote, press the input source button and select the matching input for your device. If you're using an antenna, the first time you turn on your TV, you will see a message on the screen informing you to run a channel scan. Let me show you step by step how to do this. First, press the menu button on your remote and use the left and right arrow keys until you reach channel. Using the up or down arrow keys, select air cable. Then, with your left and right keys, you'll want to select air if you're using an off-air antenna. Then press enter. Now scroll down and select auto scan. Press the keys that points to the right to begin. Now wait until the TV has completed the channel scan. That's it! Now you'll have all your favorite channels with great picture quality. Enjoy!